Scrolls out. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Uh, in I think we reached Pale Pass at the end of this last part. Yeah, Pale Pass. So yeah, hope everyone's doing okay today. In this February evening, it's like quarter to twelve in the uh, night. So I just thought it'd be perfect time to start recording. Um, ah yes. This is a horrible time to really think about realise if my armour is not up to snuff. Oh shit, everything's up to snuff, nice. So this is a, my new strategy, I feel like, rather than relying at all on blocking, just, you know, basically 5Ds of dodgeballing him until he dies. Uh, okay, so, uh, doing two repair hammers, let's knock that up a little bit. Getting close to level 100 on hand to hand, and our heavy armor's getting up there as well, level 90 currently. Do I have acrobatics on him? No, I have athletics instead. <clears throat> so yeah, I hope everyone's doing okay today. This I'm uh, currently off of work, had a couple of a week or so off. I've got a, a week or so off, sorry, is what I mean to say. I've uh, been off for a couple of days and I'm off for until next Monday. So today is Monday, so I've got like basically another week off, it's great. But yeah, it's just good. I mean, basically, revises. God damn it, Siri keeps trying to talk to me. I really don't want to talk to Siri. health potions I don't think I do, do I? Oh, there we go. Teeny tiny little health potion. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm uh, revising for one of my exams coming up and I think I'm going to try and smash out a recording of a, another Metroid Mania, Mania <laughs> this week, I think. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What kind of monster am I now? Like, that was way easier than it's ever been on this uh, playthrough. Excuse me. Have I actually got the quest selected? Yeah. Yeah, so we got to follow this path down to the uh, fort. There's apparently in this area a uh, a ring of some kind that's quite rare because you know it's not a marked quest on your map but I've never been able to find it so I'm not gonna waste your time with it either <laughs> I really wish they'd stop coming in pairs Now, while we 
we're not, you know, exactly on the verge of death. I was thinking about like monsters that they wish they, I wish they'd have made or it was possible to make in this and I was thinking one of them would be really cool if, is if you could um, enchant gauntlets to be able to apply a uh, effect. So like uh, frost gauntlets to apply like frost damage. Because like otherwise I feel like this combat is kind of stale. Especially since you just gotta be punching things for the rest of the fucking game. <laughs> Not that exactly the game has got a, a terribly exciting combat system anyway. It's pretty much just slap slapping people silly with a weapon until one of you falls over. Like Skyrim made some changes to improve that, but even Skyrim is pretty much the same. I've discovered the crumbled walls of a once mighty mighty Fort Pale Parts. It appears to have been destroyed by a landslide long ago. I should pr pr proceed into the ruins in search of the master. <sighs> Got nothing in it to help me really ever. <coughs> Excuse me. I just gotta keep like wondering the the sheer feat of athleticism that like punching an ogre to death is. Like these these guys are absolute fucking units and Oh god. No, no, no. Oh, it's bullshit. Oh um, it's got fucking do that fight again. Well, these fights feel the same because it's just two ogres, two ogres, two ogres. There's no variation. Yeah, that's obviously part of the quest, but unfortunately, obviously, I can't unlock it because I don't know where the key is, which is a bit of a shame. Oh. Ah. 
the skill. Alright, so let's uh, see if we can repair all this up so we can continue our quest to become the greatest armor in the universe. Not actually a blacksmith because we don't create anything, but you know. Shock and horror, more ogres. Let's see if I can just leave them out here and go in. There's like a fucking bajillion of them. Now this might just be like shoot myself with a foot because they might follow me in and then I'll have to deal, <coughs> deal with whatever's in here and as well as what, what comes through. The ruins appear to be infested with undead Akaviri. I don't know how long they've been trapped here, but I should proceed with caution. I need to locate the Akaviri commander of the fort who is said to possess the draconian matstone. How oh, fucking hell. Of course it can only be cast once per day. And of course I haven't it hasn't passed a day since. Variety. In enemies. Wow. It's like I can't even. But I can't. There's no point using power attacks because I just get fucking st staggered and walloped like that. Great. <coughs> Excuse me. It's probably the end of the quest, maybe. Yeah, that's all right then. Cheesing the, uh, the terrain a little bit here since I can't seem to get through this little gap. Yep. That's, uh, was I gonna break you? Well, we <laughs> wait for a health to get back up and then we'll go back to killing more rogers in the most time efficient manner. <laughs> Level of 
the set, wait for our Vano regen, or we'll use Blood of the North again. <coughs> I swear to God. Literally nothing I can do. It's like, what, Blood of the North has fallen off, so to speak, now, because it's like. This is what, 6, 15, 10's 55, uh, 10 is 50 plus 4, 10 is 50 plus 25, so it's like fucking 75 health now. So it's like, fucking pathetic, isn't it? Oh my god, alright, let's wait. Get the health back. Create an actual save. Just in case. And then we'll go back into that. Ah! Like, oh, even like our restoration has gone up basically nothing because I rely because it was I had to rely so heavily on blood of the north. This guy, comparative to what? the ogres that we faced in a minute ago, just literally does nothing to us. Like, I literally can just face tank him. So he's got, what is a, uh, some unique weapon? Uh, unique weapon and armor? It's a ruined Akaviri set. Or the ruined Akaviri uh, gear. It's basically only found in this location. Come back this way, play. Come back this way. Don't go like alerting your body. Oh, oh I already fucking did it anyway. Off it again, just to keep us up top. Ah! Great. Ah! I don't think between them they possess enough. <laughs> yeah, between them they don't seem to possess enough. Uh... Leg strength to, to get that open. I guess I shouldn't have skipped leg day. Alright, well, let's put the light spell back on.
Okay. So that is uh, kind of good that this one guy is in, has been separated from the two there, because that means we can take this guy out and then deal with the other guy. Nice. I didn't even see what like level up that was. Just kind of like <clears throat> accepted the sound for what it was, and they just ignored it. Oh. All right, let's wait an hour to get the health back because that was fucking ridiculous. On. Let's go this way first, see what's down here. Excuse me. Scales of the Serpent. Ebony mates, 1500. That's fine. That's pretty good. And a dual diamond ring as well. Always reminds me of that fucking song. Oh god. What's that even look like? Huh. Looks kind of nice. <laughs> like a... oh, I don't actually sung that song. I would have been song I think of. Yeah. Oh, Basically. The lyric of the song that I'm thinking of is, um, you, I'll be looking flashy with my gold diamond rings, and obviously since we just picked up a gold diamond ring, that's obviously come to mind, but I don't even know what's... I can't even remember the... Oh god. Spooky, innit? Yeah, I just can't seem to like me remember what the, um... What the main hook of the song is, or whatever. Alright, well... Whoever laid that trap is a dickhead. Just fucking running around like a madman at this point. Is that where I came from? Oh, fuck it, no. What is it with, like, fucking this place? Chucking two to th two to three of the same fucking enemy at once. I'm gonna get fucking worn down with these dickheads as well. Well, these dickheads know how to fucking <clears throat> bombing. Uh. Knock out, knock you, knock you over. So just that 
one, just one fucking dickhead, man. It's three times he's done it to me in this fight. Oh. Oh. Alright, well that was kind of close to being cool. So, as you saw, that's a, kind of a cool feature of this game's um, uh, AI, which is, you know, obviously it's a sad that you don't see it often, more often, but, so I, uh, my, uh, what, that power attack or whatever, knocks it, <coughs> <coughs> knocks items out of, uh, like weapons out of enemy's hands. And as you saw there, well, as soon as his weapon dropped out of his hand, I grabbed his weapon. But he, his AI is programmed to then grab the nearest weapon that he can find, so which was his dead, uh, dead friend's weapon. It's kind of cool. Angus is there, but I don't even know where I'm fucking going at this point. Alright, let's go back here quickly. Okay, that's... Let's try and explore this bit as much as I can. So yeah, if I actually that slam, if that power attack went off without him having a weapon nearby, I was wondering, really interested to see how he would have reacted because I've never seen. Or I think I've ever seen a skeleton fight with its bare hands. I'm kind of like in liking you having to use the uh, illusion magic to light the place up as well because most of the time whenever I've played this game I've always just put the brightness up <laughs> so having to actually rely on a mechanic of the game please stop staggering me please this game raw my tits you know what fucking get in the hole there we go so that takes me back to Fangs the Serpent as well It's the only place I can check now is these little jaily sort of cells that were down here. Let's try this, this one first. I half expected that to open that one, honestly. Bader and Bo for 3200. Nice. Alright, so I've now explored the whole of this lot. So let's go back up this way and go through one of those doors down here. So like that was where I came out before question mark. I 
hadn't considered the fact that I might be able to use a shield with an enchantment on. Well, and for, as a melee character, as like a hand hand sorry, and then so it was really good. It's really interesting. <laughs> Thanks be to the eyes of the serpent. What the fuck's the eyes of the serpent? Oh, I... oh okay. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Where are the three of you now? At least we managed to pop our ancestor guardian for a bit of support this time. Get knocked off our feet again by some <coughs> whiskered skeleton. Ow. Getting continually staggered because. Wait here, nice, just wait an hour, get our health back, use that thing, do the, you know, the basic principle, just knock up our armor again. Oh! Ah! I feel like this quest would be more fun. If, oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah, this quest would be way more, more, way more fun if I wasn't a melee character. A uh, fan hand, and I can actually kill skeletons at a faster rate than this, because honestly. So this is fucking ridiculous. I just keep getting unlucky with that nonsense as well. So he's obviously trying to find. Great. 
It's great for leveling my fucking skills, though. <gasps> Jesus. These are like an a Thou. Thanks, game. All right, well, we're down here now. <laughs> I believe this day, these dickheads jumped off, which I think they literally have. Well, there are more dickheads down here, but no, the dickheads look like they've actually jumped off to fight me. Bloody hell, it's all the dickhead skeletons in this area now. Yeah, okay, I remember. I see now what this is. Hmm. I haven't really spoken much in the last like 10 minutes, but I feel like it's just because it's like <laughs> Go here <laughs> Fight the fucking same enemies for the like millionth time at our doorstep and our supplies have dwindled we have awaited your arrival tell us what news do you bring from Akira well done soldier your mission is complete and you have my thanks now we may rest long live the Akira After seeing the orders, the Akaviri commander vanished. The ruins are now silent and at peace. After so many years, the Akaviri's final mission has been completed. I should proceed ahead in search of the manstone. Okay, so... Aquatic adaptation, adaptation, which is adaptation, which is 30 seconds of water breathing, greater coverlessness, which is 20 health points for 2 seconds on target, bunch of money, bunch of money. You know, I think it's a bit paranoid to like lock your chests when they're behind some sort of fancy. After. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So we got the Draconian Matstone now, which is resist 50% poison, 50% season self. That's also a pimpin' looking necklace. Look at that. Bam. 
it's way better than what you get for the quest if I remember correctly, correctly as well. Oh, so you don't technically have to go that way to get there. Huh. Sorry, I have to wait. I have to wait quickly for this to. There we go. Well, they'll be able to explore that first area properly this time as well, because I did kind of, kind of rush through it, or at least I was looking for. I kind of went through the first um, entrance I found. Yeah, so it's, it's down here that I didn't actually go. Uh, yeah. So we can have a look at what's in here, maybe, if there's anything worth grabbing. Obviously, all the skeletons are going to be silent now because we have put the, put the place to rest. the eyes of the serpent. I guess if you're feeling like specifically nimble you could have maybe just Dashed for all of the monster, all of the skeletons. Man, this place is massive. Poison, does we saw poison resistant, disease resist? Oh, hang on. Let's see if there's anything up there. Let's explore this room fully quickly. Actually, hang on, let's go through here quick. So there's only a few doors we can open to. Ah, oh, I didn't notice there was a second fucking door opening in it. Alright, that makes sense. So yeah, let's go back this way quick. Make sure nothing here. Nah, just a couple of torches. Not too bad. Bit annoying. Because it was, it was all the monsters and the... I guess we can leave now. I'm been recording 45 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna cut the video here and end it, and then when we come back, I will basically make it so that we're just outside uh, the castle of Bruma. So we can. I'll probably just teleport there just to be a bit fast, but you know, just to, so that you don't have to watch me go through all of it again. All right, see you in a bit. Have a nice time. Have a nice day, rather. Well. Oh.